if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. James 1.5 Hello beautiful family, warmest welcome back again to the Love Vista channel. I am super excited to have you here today because I get to share with you one of the best ways you can ever enjoy your buff roots of puff puff and it is the cinnamon puff puff. These are so good and looking at that beauty, I do know that you want to try so stay tuned and let's do this together. Quick tour of our ingredients. Here we have all peppers flour, cinnamon, sugar, salt, um, evaporated milk, which is quite optional. I love to have it there because me no me there. What is it? And also I have my lukewarm water and my instant dry yeast. This dry yeast is for sweet. Do not worry, I will list the exact quantity that I use down below in the description box and you will need your oil to fry so to make things very easy and faster you will need to prove your yeast so in a warm water I add two tablespoons of sugar and add my yeast all of it it's about 10 grams of yeast and then I allow it to sit in the counter for just 10 minutes and you see that your yeast will form into a bubbles and that means that your yeast is proving okay we've done this many times here so with the next step I add all my dried ingredients that is my flour sugar salt cinnamon yes I add it and then give it a good good mix So it is now time for us to add our wet ingredients into our dried ingredients and once that gets in we give it a good mix and we also have to remember that we have our evaporated milk and the leftover of our lukewarm water waiting and in this case you add your evaporated milk first and mix it together well and slowly add your leftover warm water we want the consistency to be like that of a uh, peanut butter okay yeah that is what we're going for so so as i said earlier you could always always add your water little by little because once it's not enough you can always top it up but once it's a lot you cannot take it away <laughs> right so yes you just add it little by little and once i get my desired paste i cover it and i allow it to sit to sit on the counter for 40 minutes to an hour and you see that your dough will double rise please do not allow your dough or butter to double rise for more than an hour because it's going to develop that strong yeast aroma that we do not want in our special puff puff okay we do not want to have that strong smell okay so once it's done you just take away the bubbles and whilst you're doing it please remember to put your oil on fire on your frying pan so that it will be warm enough for you to start frying your puff puff like puff puff or your buff roots okay and this part of it it's very therapeutic <laughs> my kids love to play with it but i just have to let them know this is not for playing <laughs> it is so so good look at that so right now my puff puff is ready to be fried and i have all that i need ready because you do not want to be running around looking for things okay so get all the things that you need to turn your puff puff ready and your paper towel as well so now what i'm doing is i'm sprinkling a little bit of um, the water that i have in my hands in the oil to know that if it's you know hot enough for my puff puff to go in and once i did it it just told me that yes i'm ready for the puff puff baby <laughs> so yes i go in with my puff puff and this is how we do back home okay with our hands you make it in a bowl like that and 
you're good to go your puff puff it's going to look so so gorgeous let me just tell you that big big size puff puff just turns me off like i want it in a smaller size or in such a medium size like this that is what i would just go for it one time if it's too big i will not even take it no matter how good it is i don't know why but i love to have it in this you know small medium sizes yes that is what i always go for so please let me know in the comment section how do you love to enjoy your puff puff how do you like the sizes do you like the super huge ones or just like these i mean i'm curious to know Then forming your balls that will fit in the oil you just go ahead to turn them you know you just have to be turning them you make sure that one side does not burn too much than the other okay just do that little game here i love to do that so much <laughs> even though i hate to fry i love to fry puff puff because of this i like i enjoy turning them like that perfect time for me to fry my puff puff always is around 10 minutes to 12 minutes because i always like to fry it on a medium heat if you fry it on a high heat you might get your puff puff saggy in the inside and you do not want that okay so just keep turning and it will turn into this golden beautiful color i believe everyone wants their buffers of puff puff look the nigerian term has you know taking over my mouth i keep saying puff puff but Ghanaians don't say that we call these buff roots or buff loads okay but it's okay i believe puff puff the term puff puff is worldwide now and yeah everybody turns to call it puff puffs so that's why i keep saying puff puff all the time but by babies here are so ready and i'm going to transfer these onto my paper towel yes ready to be enjoyed i love my puff puff or buffer it to be so so hot i enjoy it hot okay hot with some peanut or anything that comes with it it's just perfect so there you have it family we are done with our cinnamon puff puff and i do hope you will try it because i know you're going to love it it's such a game changer family just try it and you are going to definitely love it and let me ask you family what will you be pairing this with we paired it with some spicy emori coco yes Cold porridge and that recipe will be soon on your screen so thank you so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it and if you did come on board subscribe and join the family my name is lovia from lovey starch my main goal here is to cheer you up in preparing your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so you see you will not regret by joining the family thank you so much family for watching and i will see you in my next video have a blessed day and just know that you're so beautiful just the way you are Bye!